Hey, what's up, YouTube friends? This is Nate, the DIY mechanic. I am uh, getting back on this Frankenstroke project, and I wanted to take a minute and give you five quick tips for projects. I know a lot of guys that like to take these projects on, and I know a lot of guys that really struggle to either stay with the project or to bring it to completion. And I certainly count myself among those groups, both of them at times, but I did want to share five things that I've learned about myself that make these kinds of projects a little easier. So the first tip is to realize that a big project like this is nothing more than a collection of little tasks. There are lots of little things that make up a big project like this. If you look at the project as a whole, it can be kind of overwhelming. There's so much to be done. It's such a big project. It's going to take so much time. You really have to break it down into smaller pieces. You know, it's that old cliche about eating an elephant. How do you eat an elephant? You know, you eat it one bite at a time. And that's kind of how these projects work as well. You do it one little task at a time. So the second tip that I've got for you is one that I just accomplished with this project today, and that is, if possible, make the project convenient for yourself. So this project has been sitting outside in the gravel, in the weather, next to my little shed here, my garage. And it wasn't convenient. If it was too hot, or too cold, or too rainy, or too dry, too dark, too early, too late, whatever, I could talk myself very easily out of going out to work on this project. And I've learned that about myself, that the majority of the hurdles that I face for a project like this are mental. I get a mental block about doing it because, well, I needed to do that one thing next and I don't have X, Y, and Z in order to accomplish it. Or... Well, I don't want to bother the neighbors and it's getting kind of late, so I'm not going to work on it. Or, well, it's going to rain today, so I'm not going to work on it. If you can, make it convenient for yourself. Give yourself a space to work where you can get at it whenever the opportunity presents itself. Those little tasks that I talked about... There's my shop assistant. Those little tasks that I talked about... A lot of those can be done in an hour or so. So if you've got an hour to come out and piddle with something, there's a good chance that you'll be able to accomplish one of those little tasks. And one of the other things that I like to do, this is the third tip, is to try and get organized. As I said, there's lots of little tasks. A lot of them don't take a lot of time. So get organized and make yourself a list. This is just a partial list of what needs to be done on this truck. I'm sure I'll add to it as I go. But I've got a list here. I've got a place. I've got one place where I'm writing down everything that needs to be done. If I need to make notes, if I need to make an order, I can write all of that stuff here. Get organized. That helps me to be able to look down through this list and say, okay, I've got an hour. Which one of these little tasks can I knock off of my list? So, you know, this is a milestone. Swinging the engine into the engine compartment is a milestone. These are things that I need to get done or that I'd like to do beforehand. So I don't just write prep truck for engine. I've written it out. I've got lots of little things here that I need to do before I get to that point. And one of the reasons that I like these kinds of lists is the fourth tip that I've got for you here today. And that is to celebrate the wins. 
Now, I know everybody's not motivated by the same things, but one of the things that really motivates me is getting to mark things off this list. So when I get to mark off a task, that's like a little celebration of the progress that I've made that day. I've been out here for three or four hours here today working on this thing, just peddling away, and I've got four things done. That feels good. That's progress. This truck is not done yet, but I've made that progress, and that feels good. So I celebrate those wins. You know, if you need to trick yourself into it to, in order to stay motivated, do whatever it is that it takes to stay motivated. You know, if you say, um, I'm not going to go in tonight until I finish one of these little tasks, fine. If you have to motivate yourself to um, not work on anything else until one or two of these things is done, that's fine. But we've got an organized list here of little things that are bite-sized, things that I can do. And then the thing that the fifth tip, and it's closely related to this, is to look at the progress. You know, there are big milestones like swinging the engine into the engine compartment of this truck or getting it onto the axles that we did here some time back. Those are big milestones. When you see those, you're able to see progress. But a lot of the little stuff that you need to do, and it's hard to see the progress. But by keeping that list around, by being organized, by breaking it up into bite-sized tasks, I can see the progress. This truck has got a manual pedal box in it and a steering column that it didn't before. And that's because I chose to work on it for a couple hours today. So that's it for today, guys. Five quick little tips. These are the things that I like to use to keep myself organized, keep myself motivated. Good luck with your projects. Get out there and get to work.